Right, now we're in the 210 Bay Reef and we're going to have a little bit of a look at the rear deck area of the boat. Tom, this is one of your little, once we're there, we said your baby and you've done a nice job with this. Um, I particularly like what you've done here with the fold up seats. Yeah, the fold up seats, the latch that you just unlatched there was very necessary because with all of the, the, the speed we talked about back here, the backs of the seats on the first one we ran would blow right up and they hit about 45 miles an hour. Whew. So we came back and incorporated latches to hold those seat backs down in the folded down position. In the folded position. And very important to note. And you'll notice those, those latches are recessed here so you don't have something to bump your leg on as you come back. Which would be painful because it's just at that sort of you know, high shin sort of knee type area mm -hmm. which is a nasty one when you cop it. And you notice beside those jump seats we've got the conveniently located cup holders. Mm -hmm. You can uh, never have enough beer can you? You do well. <laughs> <laughs> and this is all fix it nice and flush so of course when you stand up here you're not going to be tripping or falling or anything like idea. this. When you're up here moving around you don't want to be able to trip on something and fall over. So, uh, you want to stay in the boat. Now located next to that we've got our rear live well which seems pretty cavernous. Uh, the, the idea there is the, um, you know, the tournament fishermen they've got fish that they won't be able to save to bring back to the weigh-in site uh, and, and get them weighed in alive. And of course a live well, a, a, a generous sized live well, keeps those fish alive better. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and that's what we're after here. So that the long fish that are, are legal in those tournaments can fit in there without having to curl up and stay alive until we get back to the weigh-in site. Now I notice this fella's put an LED, I think he's option to Live well LED lights. Mm -hmm. yeah, got the live well light in there. Yep. Um, you're not that the fish need to see, but you need to see the fish. <laughs> and uh, so that you can grab them to get them back out of there. <laughs> Do you have a capacity figure on this? That's 20 gallons. 20, 20. It's 20 gallons to the overflow. And uh -huh. above the overflow is useless anyway as far as measuring the water capacity. Right. So it does have several inches above the overflow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you do have quite a substantial uh, width there. I mean, that's usually a couple of feet more than a couple of feet on the That's right, that's right yeah. at 30 inches. 30 inches, yeah. yeah it's quite a big. And, it's just, and you can also get a uh, recirculating live after as right. an option yeah. as well. And that's what you're, you're really saying. That screen, that's, that's the intake for the recirculating system. All right. So he's optioned it up to that. That's right. All right. So he's fairly serious. Okay. Now, behind that, over on the left, we have got uh, twin storage boxes back here. Right. Uh, these storage boxes are both lined. As you can see, yes. the, uh, the liner goes all the way forward. It's underneath these seats. Uh, I have looked at a lot of bay boats in this class. Most of them do not have that volume of storage. This mm. is the largest storage volume I've seen in any uh, boat in this 20 to 21 foot class. The, um, the batteries, uh, this one has twin batteries, you've got a battery switch in here, okay. one battery, battery fits switch. under the seat, the second battery fits behind that, and you've still got a little extra room back here for some, some extra storage in the back end of the boat. Right. Once again we've got our folding stern light, get it in that to the fellow there, right. yep. that closes up nicely, and for anybody who's wondering, this hatch is basically an inspection hatch to get into the bilge pump. Pure water or separated. Yep. Uh, and while we're right back here, the Sea yes. Star hydraulic steering is standard on this boat. Uh, again, I've looked at uh, the, the competition in this class. Most of them come standard with a mechanical system. The ones that do get the hydraulic go with the base star, uh, which is a much less expensive unit than this. Our standard is this because this is what you should have on a 150 horsepower motor. Yeah. And of course, as usual on the modern Keyverse boots, we've got pull-up cleats. That's right. Plenty of stainless rod holders located here. And then if we move around, okay, we've got the flip-flop pull to seat option on this one, where you can have the standard the Galean post. Galean mm -hmm. uh, post is standard in this boat. This is an even trade-out if you want to get the cooler seat. Uh, it does give you a nice seat 
that you can flip back and forth. So if you want to just sit down, take a break, prop your feet up on the back deck, it makes mm. it a comfortable option. Actually, that's one of that one. Yeah. And we would usually, handy. usually have a cushion on that for you too. Yeah, well, we're in the uh, post-production area where I'm quite sure Mike from QC will be picking up on the cushions for yes, us. Yes, we'll, we'll get a cushion before it goes. We're going to get a cushion before it goes. While we're right here, I'd like to point out the, the room that we have between the cooler seat and the, the back yeah. deck. That's the lean-in post option gives you the same amount of room so that you can walk behind that without having to step up on your deck. You can even access the live well. Mm -hmm. uh, which is important. Uh, you don't want to have to you know, stand up on the back deck or something to get into your live well. You can stay secure in the boat while you're back there. Here's a left field question for you. I've often been asked, what's a self-draining deck? How okay. does it work? A self-draining deck is one that when the boat is sitting at rest, the, the floor level is above the outside water level. That way gravity will pull the water out of the boat and into the, uh, the water outside. Um, now, a self-draining deck has its limitations. If we were to put 10 people in this boat, it wouldn't be a self-draining deck. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but within reason, but with a reasonable load, with you and I in the boat, we'd be a self-draining deck. And the way I notice with the key with, if you look closely, I don't know if you're going to pick it up on the camera, but there's a channel in the deck that goes all the way around and takes us to the drains mm -hmm. on both places, which then take the water out the back through the scuppers. That's right. And the floor is slightly crowned in the middle to the outside so that that water is encouraged to run into those channels and to get it overboard. The channel drains, of course, are below the deck level so that you don't have the annoying puddles. Right. The other advantage of the channels, of course, is most guys probably fish bare feet, and the channels act as a toe hold yeah, when right. you're up against the side. You can put your big nice toe, toe and a few toes in there and hey, isn't that brilliant? Hmm. Okay, let's swing around to the dash. This is pretty standard uh, Key West Boats dash. Shall we pop the seat on there? Very good. Once again, standard uh, Key West steering wheel. We've got our switch gear, all very visible, very handy, all straightforward and simple to use. Our instruments here. You've got a nice big flat area to mount up to what, 10 inch? 10 inch will fit there with a rearrangement of instruments and switches you can get up to a 12 inch. Wow, okay. If you want any more than that you're being greedy. Uh, cup, cup holders, well, once again because you can't have too much beer. That's right. <laughs> Everything else is fairly stand. Oh, now our cameraman probably won't be able to see this. <laughs> so we better cut. Well, you can move. take our word for it. <laughs> <laughs> Underneath this console is the only porta potty room on a 20 to 21 foot bay boat anywhere.